Welcome back. Alright. I would never remove my dog. But the dog might become a different dog for the time being. I don't... I still think there might be one or two kinds of dogs we haven't had with us yet. I don't remember. It's been quite a long time. Let's see. Redo dog registration. Wonderful. So have I gone to all of these? I might have had this one. Breed 2. I actually don't bother naming them. And they're clearly real breeds. This is a Labrador or something? Jeez, this game is so loud. Uh, eh, big-ish. Still in Rocky, though. You just mean transmogrified. Okay. And... Why not have it be later in the day again? So... I feel like I'm in a good place in the Let's Plays right now. <laughs> I'm playing two games I like a lot. It's not always the case. Between me usually having one licensed game and one other game, License games are fun in their own right. Because I get to give something a chance that nobody else usually gives a chance. And there's always people watching that have memories with the game that I'm discovering for the first time. Or we can just mock the game for being really bad if it turns out to be really bad. Five of seven. On the other hand, Things I'm playing that are not licensed are usually things I make an after choice to play. That's not true, that person is me. Which I guess is true in a very peculiar sense, but. Ow. You're not very. Stop, horse! <laughs> Jeez, you're not off the horse. I should take the chance while I'm down here, actually, to try to get the the car onto the boat. As silly of an idea as that is. Oh, the car's there, too. And it's specifically my car. Interesting. Anyhow. Now, like, I guess I'm like torn between two games right now. Like, I'm happy to be playing this, but I also kind of wish I was also playing Rivet, because I want to play Rivet. Anyways. Car, we're gonna drive places, and those places are boats. I think the only way to get on that thing, though, is over here. Actually, at the same time, I should probably take the chance to take this picture here. I mean, does the dog count as wildlife? Do I count as wildlife? I don't think Granny's from here. Granny might be an invasive species. Kind of invasive species that just walks up to someone who tells her, you shouldn't drive up those rocks, and then she says, I'm going to drive up those rocks. And then she does it. of species doing things that people don't want them to do. Hi. I see. Get out of the way, dog. Okay. But I guess I can just have to go to wherever I can jump onto the boat from and then just sit there for a bit. Most things in this game don't require you to sit in place for a while like that. We'll get chances only rarely to do what it is you want to do, but here we are. I don't... I think I've spoken to most of these, but I'm not entirely certain. I, I only live in now because I found most of them. Granny's taking them all. that I jumped onto that boat from. 
Jeez, look at all these balloons. Red balloon. Other balloon. Have I explored this area pretty much? I feel like I haven't. No, it's over here, keys. I know. That was making over here, though. Yeah, so this is where I was before, at least. As I jump, I try to jump off of here. Where is that boat? Yeah, I know, dude. But the boat needs to get over here. Where the hell was the boat? There, cool. Thanks, boat. I'll try to get myself in a better position here. This is kind of tricky, though. Dog, get out of the way. And there's not much to keep you from overshooting. Ah! We're undershooting. Good job, dog. Ugh! Okay. Is there any good way right here to reset? Yeah, I know. I know there's stuff here, I just need to somehow... <sighs> Not really. There's not really much. The thing is, the, the boat starts pretty far away from over there, from where you can actually jump onto it, which is the annoying part. I guess I should take a picture here. What's up all the people just randomly taking photos of everyone? At this point, why don't I just have a camera of my own? It's actually a minigame right there, right next to us. At least we're not far from it this time. I do want to do this one thing as I know about it. It's just got me a bit difficult to make happen. So where, where is the boat now? Dog, you're not telling me about anything I don't already know about. So the boat's on the right there. Depart boat. Is that the boat over there? Over here, boat. You have to drive past the boat so it starts moving. It might not start moving until you get close enough to it. So I feel like I need a, a much bigger running start than I had last time. The other option is to, and well, the dog's barking here, which gives me the impression that you're expected to jump from here. Is the boat still moving? What's going on here? It gives the impression you're expected to jump from here. I was otherwise thinking that you could just drop onto it from that arch that's going underneath right now. That would probably be a heck of a lot easier. I don't know if I want to try to like just slam into its side. Uh. Oh, now good luck getting this thing off of there. Uh, here we are. to do about that. That was kind of tedious, more than anything, although it's an amusing idea, I guess. 
I don't know. Uh, I can't even get out of the out of the car. There we go. I think. Can't reverse. Why can't I get out of the thing? Hello. Well, it's it's just part of the well, the vehicle, and also myself. We're just part of the boat now. <laughs> we can't we can't disembark or anything. This is the first time I've gotten stuck anywhere. And weirdly, I I got stuck in a place that is not in place. That's something that's actually moving, but. Yeah, I, I can't get off of the boat. I can't get out of the car. Okay, well. I guess there's that. Let's just imagine we managed to get that thing off of there somehow. Okay. Now, if there are still any blue balloons to find here, just jump backwards. The dog. Maybe I should go around the whole lake though in the boat at some point here, I think it has to say. But right now what I want to do is... I need to remember where to go next for... That whole exchanging hands quest. Just the, not quite fetch quest, but just finding people and bringing stuff to them. Sort of quest. I need to do the rest of that at some point. Come on. I don't remember where I have to go next. No, not just this time. Give instructions. Interesting. Brain's the leader. I'd be interested in a game where I was the one taking instructions too. Now you have to imagine that one of these courses is going to involve going off of the. Kinda of weird. Okay, so you just tell everyone to that one. I don't, know. I don't know how it is, but I don't know how I wrote backwards. I can make everyone else backwards. And most of this is just. In fact, it doesn't make that much of a difference whether or not I wrote at all, I feel like. And I can. Or not the right one. But it basically, it's kind of like just holding and hold forwards, pick everyone row, and at which point I need to row as well. So it's more like if I'm holding forwards or right, I have to row as well. Otherwise, I don't row. It's a little strange. Swerving a little. <laughs> a little bit. Went under a little bit there. I keep, I, it's hard to keep track. It's hard to remember that whenever I hold certain directions, I have to row by not wanting to hold other directions. It's a very strange idea. Oh yeah, you can go backwards. I don't think I can row backwards, though. <laughs> I like how 
if there are still four cameras, here's all the same. Oh god, I forgot to try out different clothing while I was here. I'm not far from the resort at least. Which seems not to be called the Idris here, strangely. But we'll head back there next episode and get some new duds. Okay. So I'll head back to... Ow. I'll head back to the info area. And we can create things up from there. This is not the, the car bridge, but oh well. Next episode we get more clothes. Different clothes, I guess. And then work from there. What's with all the balloons everywhere? Jeez. Alright. We'll see the balloon next time. Bye everyone.